So a few weeks ago, I went into the time machine and I went back to 2009 to rebuild my 2009-2010 New York Knicks. Was I successful? You just gotta watch that video to find out. You guys know. Quick plug, go check out some of my other content because it's lit. Anyways, I decided that I'm gonna have to hop back in that time machine again because when I went back to 2009, there's actually a lot of NBA teams that can use my help. That still to this day is still struggling, bro. But maybe if they could have got it right back in 09, they could have got it right today. Who knows? So anyways, today we are hopping back in the time machine. We are going back to the 09, 010. Well, not 09, 010. The 09, 2010 NBA season to rebuild the Sacramento Kings. Back then in 2009, they had just drafted Tyreek Evans like the offseason before, I believe. Don't quote me on that because I'm bad with time. But anyways, Tyreek Evans was the only good player on the team. Bano Udridge. I know you guys remember him. That was my guy back then. I used to use him on NBA 2. 2K11, but back in the time machine, as I said a million times, and these rosters never cease to amaze me because it's really crazy that this was so long ago, like more than 10 years ago. I feel like this, I felt like the NBA just looked like this the other day. Like it's really, really crazy to see, but I have my scenario saved. I still had the 09, 2010 season saved with the rosters and everything. I made some updates to it as well. I might post it for you guys. Like Joe Johnson, I updated his player model. A lot of the older player models are not like existing on this game nba 2k22 so i did have to update a lot of them every rebuild i do you guys already know i gotta create my own custom gm since we can't add our own custom face scan i'm gonna keep saying that a million times so there i am gm of the sacramento kings and now let's take a look at the where is it at okay there we go it's funny i've been playing this game for so long i always forget where certain things are in the menu but prospect scouting this is the year they drafted DeMarcus Cousins. But the question is, where would we end up in the NBA draft? Will we end up with a top pick to get DeMarcus Cousins, maybe a Gordon Hayward, maybe John Wall? We about to change the future. Sheesh, keep those L's piling up. We started to win a few more games towards the end of the season, but it doesn't really matter. So at the end of the 09-2010 season, LeBron James MVP, rookie of the year, Tyreek Evans, the custom player because we don't have actual face scans. Goran Dragic, sixth man of the year, defensive player of the year, LeBron. And the coaches of the year, I'm not gonna focus on that because obviously I didn't change the coaches or none of that BS. But anyways, oh, Derrick Rose injured. Oh, and I forgot to take out the play-in, so we're gonna ignore the play-in tournament and pretend like it doesn't exist. But anyways, simulating to the end of the postseason because of course we did make the postseason. Darren Williams, finals MVP to Utah Jazz. NBA champions. D. Will was that dude, bro. He really was that dude back then. But let's see. Tyreek Evans, 27 points per game. Who remember Carl Landry? I remember him. Spencer Hawes. My guy Derek Fisher, bro. Retiring from the NBA and a lot of custom players because, of course, there's only so many players we can add to the rosters without, like, face scans in terms of the custom rosters. But let's skip past all of this stuff. Everything rejected. It's time for the NBA Draft Lottery. Where is your Sacramento Kings going to finish? We are top three right now. The lottery odds. Please, please. Bro, we fell to number six. Wow. So it looks like the Golden State Warriors have a chance to get DeMarcus Cousins or John Wall or Gordon Hayward. I don't think we're going to be able to get either of those players unless we... Unless we strike up a trade. Like, seriously, how did we not be the... Yo, how are we not the worst team in the Western Conference? That's really crazy. 16 and 66? Maybe I should rebuild the Indiana Pacers next. But anyways, it's time for the NBA Draft, the 2010 NBA Draft. DeMarcus Cousins goes number one to the Golden State Warriors. We're talking prime Boogie Cousins with a rookie or a young Steph Curry and Monte Ellis. We can't let this happen. No way can we let this happen. Monte Ellis, Corey Maggette, a young Steph Curry. Haven't even hit his prime yet. And DeMarcus Cousins, a young DeMarcus. No, can't let this happen. So we're from the future. So we already know Tyreek Evans and DeMarcus Cousins is not going to work. They're not going to go anywhere. I want to trade Tyreek Evans, but maybe if I don't have to include him in the deal, I could get somebody else good for Tyreek Evans. 
So I'm thinking of taking him out the deal. Let's put Carl Landry in there and Bano. So I'm gonna take Tyreek Evans out, include my first rounder, Carl Landry, Bano. Oh, they accepted the deal. That was easier than expected. I was not expecting them to do the deal, but hey, I'll take it. We still got Boogie. Don Wall going to the Houston Rockets, not the Washington Wizards. And the Washington Wizards was right there. And of course, in this draft class, they have custom players. I don't know why the CPU was drafting all these custom players. Like, do they not know Paul George is still there waiting? The Timberwolves got Gordon Hayward to go with a prime Ricky Rubio or a young Ricky Rubio and Kevin Love. That's pretty dope. That's dope right there. So let's see. It's time for us to choose a prospect. We still have the sixth overall pick in this year's NBA draft. I'm about to just go with Paul George and maybe not keep him and probably trade him sometime later. Or just keep him and develop him with DeMarcus Cousins. I feel like that's a better duo. I don't know. I mean, I'm not liking these deals that I'm seeing for Evans, like, at all. Jason Richardson was my guy. Serge Ibaka and Nick Collinson. I wouldn't mind doing this deal, but I want James Harden. I want a young James Harden on my team. The question is, can we get him on the squad, though? I don't think we'll be able to pull this deal off. Serge Ibaka, I want him, though. All right, let's just try Tyreek Evans for James Harden, and I have a bunch of second rounders, but I'll give you a future first round pick for James Harden, and they are playing hardball, okay. Let's try, I really don't wanna give up the sixth pick that we have right now. Let's try another future first rounder. Take out that one, still nothing. I might have to throw in like at least three first round picks for James Harden. Don't wanna give this much, but they still don't accept the deal. Why are they playing hard to get, bro? All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to include all these second rounders. Please, accept the deal. Come on. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the squad, James Harden. I mean, we're from the future, so we already know who's going to be good. We are drafting Paul George with the sixth overall pick in this year's NBA draft. Yo, this team is looking stacked already, and this is just the first season. Let's see. I mean, two future second rounders wouldn't hurt. Especially because sometimes in the second rounders, we get good players as well, like real life players. So NBA draft is done. We got DeMarcus Cousins. We got Paul George. And ladies and gentlemen, we got James Harden. Let's get it. So the landscape of the NBA has already changed. The future of the NBA has already changed. John Wall going to the Houston Rockets. We know how that worked out like last year, whatever the case may be. Um, wait, isn't he still in Houston in real life? Is he? Let's go. So it is time for the free agency moratorium period. Look at all the free agents we could get. In all honesty, because it's the Sacramento Kings, nobody's gonna sign with the Sacramento Kings. So I'm gonna make it a little bit realistic and sign, sign good role players. I feel like this is pretty good. After the third day of the free agency moratorium period, Ronnie Brewer, who's a very good defender. Mike Bibby bringing him back to Sacramento. Q, Q Rich, Quinton Richardson, Leon Poe, Aaron Brooks. My guy Brian Scalabrini agreed to a deal. Let's get it. So our roster is shaping up actually pretty dope. And I feel like we have enough players, enough role players to complement who we're building the team around, which is James Harden and DeMarcus Cousins. Let's see how things pan out. Player progression, James Harden on the decline yeah right anyways mike baby going down a little bit of course because he's getting older but this is what i like to see this is definitely what i like to see so we got a good mix of older players and younger players and i feel like we're gonna be we're gonna do pretty well i got a few custom players because we just need to fill out the roster at this point marcin gortat a custom player and will bynum a custom player but those are actual those are actually real players like real life players a lot of players sign with their team or re-sign with the team clippers got back blake griffin chris paul went to the timberwolves though that's different lebron stayed with the Cavs. tim duncan stayed with the spurs carmelo a prime mellow signs with the rockets so prime mellow prime john wall that's pretty dope Derek Rose signed with the Atlanta Hawks. So Prime D Rose with Prime Joe Johnson. Oh wait, no, Joe Johnson going to the Boston Celtics. Okay, so everything is like going nuts this offseason. And the future for the NBA is definitely gonna be changed. This is crazy, bro. This is really crazy. So let's keep things going with the next draft class. 
Kyrie Irving, Kawhi Leonard, Clay the Goat, Thompson, Enos Cantor, Tristan Thompson, Kemba Walker, Jimmy Butler. Every time I, I go back and look at it, I never realized how stacked the 2011 draft class was. Like, this is a really good draft class. How do you guys think we're looking for this NBA season? I still think we're not going to make the postseason, like, at all. But the team looks pretty dope. And DeMarcus Cousins with James Harden in the starting lineup gives them a chance to develop. Those are going to be our primary go-to guys right there. I want to make sure they're getting a bulk of the playing time. And also, Paul George is going to be coming off the bench his rookie season as well. So... This is going to be a pretty interesting season. Don't expect us to do that well, though. Crazy because we went on a little bit of a winning streak, but now we're taking L's left and right. Wow. Tim Duncan, MVP, DeMarcus Cousins, Rookie of the Year. That's what I want to see. My guy, DeMarcus Cousins. Sean Livingston with that afro. Who remember that? <laughs> that was crazy, but pretty bad NBA season for us, if I do say so myself. Let's skip all the way to the end of the postseason. Oh, the Utah Jazz got eliminated. They won the championship last season, but now the Orlando Magic NBA champions. How does that happen? Didn't DeMarcus, not DeMarcus, um, Dwight Howard, didn't he sign with a different team? I think he signed with the Hornets. So a prime Marc Gasol with Vince Carter, J.J. Redick, Rashard Lewis, Ryan Anderson, I remember him, Jameer Nelson, I remember him. That team was good enough to win a championship. Okay, let's look at the stats. Not bad. So DeMarcus Cousins, James Harden, leading scorer for the NBA season for our squad. They developed pretty well. Paul George only went nine points per game. Gotta step that up, bro. Gotta step that up. We got a few players that's retiring. Not many. Realistic players, at least. So, league meetings, we are rejecting all of these as usual. We're not changing any of the rules. I'm going to leave it the same. Skipping to the NBA draft lottery. Where are we at? Number five. We were one of the worst teams in the NBA, and we only got the fifth overall pick. Yo, we should be top three. Like, come on. This NBA draft is going to be pretty interesting. So, number one, Kawhi Leonard is going to the Denver Nuggets. Melo's down to Denver Nuggets no more. I think he signed with... I forgot. The Houston Rockets. Klay Thompson is going to the Atlanta Hawks with a prime D Rose. Kyrie Irving is going to the New York Knicks with... I don't know who the New York Knicks got. <laughs> Let's see. Sean Harvey. I don't know who, who... That's a custom player. So we are up next in the NBA draft. Who should we go for? I'm thinking Kemba Walker. Because we really need a point guard other than Mike Bibby. And... I was thinking Jimmy Butler, but we already got James Harden. I think we're going to go with Kemba Walker. I feel like that would be the best case scenario. So we are going to draft a young Kemba Walker. Welcome him to the squad. Kawhi going to the Denver Nuggets, bro. That's crazy. So yeah, this NBA draft was pretty interesting. Looking at all these draft picks, like... I thought it was Blake Griffin. That's Bernard Griffin. <laughs> I don't know who that dude was. But anyways, it's a pretty good draft. Pretty good draft for us. We got Kemba Walker. I want to Iman Shumper in the second round, but hey. So we got Paul George at the three. So in terms of free agency, I'm going to target... Let's see if we can first off get James Harden back. And James Harden is not interested in negotiating with the Sacramento Kings. After all that we traded to get you, bro, after one bad season with the Kings, you don't want to come back? Yo, I am so ups- Yo, I'm- That's that BS. I mean, do we really have a choice? Lou Will on a two-year deal, that's not too bad. But James Harden really decided not to come back, though. Like, I'm still not over that. So after the third day of the free agency moratorium period, I did want Serge Ibaka originally instead of trading for Harden. I was going to trade for Ibaka, so I'm glad I got Ibaka on the team. I'm going to move him to the power forward position to be in the front court with DeMarcus Cousins. That will be lit. But that's crazy, though. James Harden really did us dirty. But the other players we got is pretty good. I don't feel like Mike Bibby would be that bad of a pickup. So we got him back. Probably just going to keep him for... I don't know if we was going. I don't know if I want to trade him or just help him develop Kemba Walker. That's why I got him on like a two-year deal. So I'll keep him around for right now. But our team is looking pretty good. Team is looking pretty solid. 
we're not gonna do anything next season but we're looking pretty good in my opinion so let's see getting past the free agency moratorium play a progression ibaka is increasing mike bibby's on the decline of course paul george jumped up a lot that's what i was that's what i want to see paul george jumped up a lot the marcus cousins jumped up a lot that's the only thing that really matters right now the rest of the team i, I really don't care <laughs> how we look in this season though i say an eighth seed we at least gotta make the postseason bro we got some good role players coming off the bench. Kemba Walker could go nuts off the bench. Primary scoring option off the bench. Mike Bibby, Danny Green, a prime Danny Green, Paul George, Serge Ibaka, DeMarcus Cousins, all in their prime except for Mike Bibby. We should do at least the eight seed. Come on, bro. We can't make the postseason. Keep winning. Let's rack up those dubs. Let's. Oh, man. 12th in the conference rank. Kyrie Irving, Rookie of the Year, because, of course, Tim Duncan was MVP. Defensive Player of the Year as well. Maybe I should have signed Tim Duncan. But we did not make the postseason again in the imaginary playing game. I, I was expecting us to make the postseason. The Utah Jazz versus the Orlando Magic. Let's go. Utah Jazz won another championship. D will underrated. So the first postseason as sim pass it was the utah jazz the second postseason the orlando magic and then both of those teams faced off in the nba finals this year and the utah jazz got it but good team development so far let's see how the draft lottery pans out and we finish wait oh okay yeah i just remember we traded our pick to okc for james harden who decided not to sign with us or re-sign with us. Look at how many picks OKC got, bro. Like, that's... <sighs> Just look at the nonsense. Anthony Davis still ends up going to the New Orleans Pelicans. That's crazy. With the number one pick in the 2012 NBA draft. But OKC got three picks in a row. The second, the third, and the fourth. They got Harrison Barnes and two custom players. But that's crazy. I'll take a second rounder. Why not? A future second rounder. Matter of fact, no, I want a future rounder for this draft, so that's why I had to do that deal with the Hornets. So let's see if we can snag a real player in the second round. Jeremy Lamb. He was pretty good. Thomas Sadoransky. I'm thinking of going with him because that's the only real, like, real player that I see here. Alfred Payton. I don't want him. Will Barton. Will Barton isn't good. I'm um, not isn't good. Is a good player. I think I'm going to go with Thomas Adaransky. We need another point guard just in case, like a third stream point guard. I'll go with him. Why not? So the NBA draft is over. No first rounders, which really, really sucks. But Anthony Davis still going number one to the New Orleans. I was going to say New Orleans Pelicans, New Orleans Hornets. Bradley Beal going to Detroit. Damian Lillard going to the Indiana Pacers with Draymond Green, bro. That's crazy. Draymond and Dame Lillard two solid pickups so we got a few good players after the third day of the free agency moratorium period mainly just filling out our roster and letting our young guys develop that's really the name of the game after this this free agency mike baby out for the season due to the flu this is the main thing that I was worrying about. I just want to make sure that DeMarcus Cousins is developing. Same thing for Paul George. So Paul George, DeMarcus Cousins, Serge Ibaka, they're doing their thing. Kemba Walker is up there as well. A lot of the older players are starting to decline, which is fine. Mike Bibby is going to start coming off the bench now. Let Kemba Walker start. Or maybe keep Bibby in the starting lineup and keep Walker coming off the bench so he could go nuts with the second unit. So we're not looking too bad at all. But the question is, where are we going in the postseason? In my opinion, I'm going to say the same thing that I said last season, the eighth seed. We have to get the eighth seed. My players are developing pretty well. It's been a pretty consistent team. Let's keep it rolling. We didn't make the postseason again. Rookie of the year, AD, of course. Westbrook was MVP. <sighs> Josh Smith. You know, I was thinking about signing him, too. I should have. I really should have. So we didn't make the postseason yet again. Let me sim the play in. And the New York Knicks is the best team in the East because they got Darren Williams. I should have signed Darren Williams. The dude is putting teams on his back with Kyrie. Um, I'm hoping the Knicks win. Oh, the Knicks got eliminated in the first round. Forget it. 
the Toronto Raptors are the NBA champ. Kevin Durant is on the Raptors. Listen, I lost track of who's going on who team. Like, or who signed with who. Do we even have a pick in this year's draft? I don't think we do. I don't see our name anywhere. Yeah, we don't have a pick at all. The Indiana Pacers get Giannis Antetokounmpo with the first overall pick in the 2013 NBA Draft. Which is crazy because they got Damian Lillard and Draymond Green. Next up, team slash player options. Of course, I'm picking up the team options on everybody's contract. Chris Paul is a free agent. Hmm. Come on, we should be able to have enough cap space to sign him. There we go. Oh, wait. Minus one dollar really is that big of a deal. I want Chris Paul on our team. We have to get him. Second day of free agency moratorium. Third day. So far, so good. We got Chris Paul and Serge Ibaka to re-sign. But we could go over the salary cap to get Serge Ibaka. So I don't want to sign him right now until I finalize our deal with Chris Paul. I got to get CP3. If we get him, we lit. Okay, I think we got him. No errors, no... There we go. Let's go. It is over for the NBA. We got a prime CP3. He wants to play with the Marcus Cousins. Let's go, Ibaka. We got back our main players. That's all that really matters. And we got CP3. So we got Chris Paul, Ibaka, the Marcus Cousins, Paul George, Danny Green. That's a lit starting five right there, bro. All in their prime? Oh my goodness. We definitely got to make the postseason next season, for sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Daquan Cook won the three-point contest one of those years. I had to get him. Shane Battier, a good pickup. Neon Poe actually accepted my deal. Let's go. So we brought in a bunch of role players. Player progression is looking real nice. Chris Paul's a 98. DeMarcus Cousins a 91. Paul George is right there. Ibaka, Kemba. That's what I want to see. The question is, should I trade Kemba Walker? I want to keep him right now so he could come off the bench and go crazy because our second unit is not looking that strong. With all those older players, it's not looking that strong, so I might hold on to him. If this doesn't work, I'm going to trade Kemba Walker during the offseason, but I feel like our roster is looking pretty good. Starting lineup, very lit. Chris Paul, Danny Green, Paul George, Ibaka, DeMarcus Cousins. Let's go. Paul George, DeMarcus Cousins, Paul George, that's a big three right there. Sixth man of the year is going to be Kemba. Like I said, if things don't work out this season, I'm going to trade Kemba. I just want to see how it'll work out. Keep it up. I want that number one seed. Let's keep winning. Come on. Come on. We got sweep this week. And, oh man, we didn't sweep the week. We couldn't finish number one, though. A prime Derrick Rose. Let's get it. MVP. That's what I want to see. Although he's now on our team. Michael Carter Williams. But we finished second overall in the Western Conference. Damian Lillard most improved. He's averaging 21 now with Giannis and Draymond Green on his squad. That's crazy, though. Derrick Rose is on the Timberwolves now. When did that happen? Oh, he probably signed like a one-year deal with um, the Atlanta Hawks. Anyways, second best team in the Western Conference facing off against the Portland Trail Blazers. 56 win season. 56 wins. 26 L's. Let's see how our players did this NBA season. Looking at the player stats, Paul George was the leading scorer. That's surprising. Paul George and CP3 both average 20 points per game. DeMarcus Cousins right behind them with the double double. Kemba Walker right behind them as well. Let's go. This team is looking pretty late. I think we can win the championship. I feel like the rebuild is complete. It has to be. Leon Poe injured but he should be back by like the second or third round we gotta make it at least to the nba finals for sure brandon roy was my guy injuries really really suck but demarcus i said demarcus cousin lamarcus not demarcus lamarcus aldridge and brandon roy still yeah not gonna beat us though moving on to the second round we are facing off against the utah jazz aren't they the defending nba champs they got carlos Buza, alec burks monte ellis joe angles a young joe angles Okay. That's a pretty good team. Rest of the team fills out pretty good, but I don't think they'll be able to beat us at all. So in the Eastern Conference, the New York Knicks still got D. Will and Kyrie Irving and Danny Granger. Who remembers Danny Granger from the Indiana Pacers back then? But yeah, we are going to simulate the round because I should be able to beat that team. There we go. Thank you. I got scared for a second. 
Utah took us to seven games. I think they're the defending NBA champions. I don't remember. Minnesota Timberwolves with a prime D Rose, a prime Gordon Hayward, a prime Kevin Love. Yo, Elton Brand, Ed David. Yo, let's go. Still, I don't think they'll be able to beat us though. Simulating game by game. Ah, uh, they got a 2 1 series lead. T series is tied. 3 2 series lead for us. NBA Finals, no. Come on, bro. I'm gonna have to sim using SimCast. So we are going seven games with the Minnesota Timberwolves and the prime Derrick Rose. And right now we are blowing them out, which looks like we are going to the NBA Finals. Let's get it. There's no way they're coming back. So we're your Western Conference champs. 2013-2014 NBA season, Western Conference champions. Yeah, Sacramento Kings. Let's get it. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Paul Pierce is injured. Who remembers OJ Mayo? That was my dude on the Grizzlies. Joe Johnson, Lamar Odom. How did this... I don't know how this team made it to the finals. I don't feel like they should be in the finals. But anyways, let's win this championship. Series is tied at one apiece. We're down 2-1. Series is tied again. 3-2 series lead. Come on. We're simming with SimCast. Let's see if we can win... The NBA championship on the floor of the Boston Celtics. Come on, bro. This team should not be in the finals. We got to complete this rebuild right now. Game is going back and forth. And now it looks like we're pulling away. And ladies and gentlemen, with less than a minute left, this is going to do it. Rebuild complete. We are your NBA champs. On the road is something else. To win and to do it with a crowd that was so emotional and so into this game. You've beaten the team and you've conquered everything that this great arena holds. Yeah, it, it's a bittersweet moment for the home crowd. But our full credit to the victors and the amazing job they did to never lose focus or drive. And boy, this is the moment they've been working towards all season long. And even though they don't get to celebrate in front of their home fans, does not take away from the One satisfaction. Team has emerged Let's victorious. take you to the presentation the of the Larry O'Brien Trophy. NBA Commissioner, congratulations to the whole organization and of course this incredible team. This Larry O'Brien Trophy and I believe this suitcase are yours. You're Bill Russell, Finals MVP. Nah, this was a fun one, though. The Sacramento Kings, the 2013-2014 NBA champions, Chris Paul, Finals MVP. And that's crazy, though, because I really didn't expect him to sign with us, but Chris Paul signed with us. We are... Your NBA champions. This was a front, yo. This was a really fun rebuild. I gotta go back in the time machine again and rebuild some more teams because I'm having a blast playing with these classic teams. Ah oh, man, love to see it though. You really love to see it.